Well, the film scene in Northwest Arkansas is growing, and of course, the Benville Film Festival is right around the corner. But before that festival, you'll have a chance to see another festival happening in Eureka Springs this weekend. And to tell us more, we've got Mika Borum and her dad, Ben. Thank you guys for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having us. This is awesome. Now, Mika, you've been acting for a very long time. Yeah. How I've long? I've been acting for uh, 25 years. Oh, so wow. <laughs> wait, it was wait, child really? Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> they started me in as soon as they oh, could. Oh, wow. Yeah. So That's right. Yeah, we have to get them going that, young. That That's child true. labor, get me out there working. <laughs> so my background's always been in acting because I've been, you know, and I've had a lot of success with that. Um, like I was in Blue Crush, uh -huh. Patriot, Along yeah. Came a Spider, all these different movies. Writing Cars with Boys. Yes. I love that movie. Uh -huh. I love that movie so much. <laughs> that bra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's I like want a bra. <laughs> <laughs> that was my big line from that movie oh in the goodness. scene with Jimmy Woods. That was a fun movie. I played young Drew Barrymore in uh -huh. that film. Um, but yeah, so this is my first directing uh, full feature venture. And so my dad and I teamed up on this. Okay. So we're really excited about it. It's an old school adventure comedy. Uh, it's a, it's Get Shorty meets Romancing the Stone. Nice. Mm. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun with it. There's a, a production company that's in a race to make the next big Mayan film. Okay. And so they send a producer down to Guatemala, but then all this craziness ensues. There's a there's a, a, a kidnapping uh, and an attack camel and okay. a chain of piece of jade. Tom Arnold's in it. Mm -hmm. uh, he plays a drug lord named El Jade. But it's very much <laughs> like in an old school, yeah, El Jade. It's very much an old school sort of way, um, more like Romancing the Stone. Sure. So it has like, you know, it's PG-13, so it has these sort of more, um, you know, adult concepts with, right. it, with the stealing of an airplane and the kidnapping and stuff, but it's in like a fun adventure comedy sweet sort of way, which is something that my dad and I set out to do when we made it, was we wanted it to be, um, you know, where there's there's no... There's no drugs, there's no sex, there's no violence, sure. there's none of that stuff in there. Yeah. So Let's put some information up on the screen for you guys at home so you know when you can uh, see the show. How did you guys get hooked up with Eureka Springs? My dad's from Marshall. So I grew, ah. up, I grew up in Marshall and uh, my mother, father and sister are buried in Marshall. Okay. And so after we finished this film, I wanted to bring it to the Ozarks and share it with uh, my uh, family and yeah. friends from the Ozarks. Okay. And also we have four people in this movie that are associated with Arkansas. Okay. L Lyndall Black, our composer, who just won an Emmy. Oh, nice. Uh, he's going to be there. He lives in Nashville now. He went to school, uh, actually worked around the Fayetteville area. Okay. So he's well known around this area here. We have another actor that's from Searcy. And then uh, Billy Bob Thornton threw in, uh, his band threw in a uh, cameo, and they threw a couple of songs into the movie. Nice. nice. So we have a good, nice. good strong Arkansas connection. <laughs> we had to do it here. Yeah. <laughs> we 